Hey everybody, it's Michael from Wahoo Comics and I am super excited because I just bought my first comic collection. Now, it's a small collection, but it is a collection. And I am hoping to start buying collections and so I am thrilled to finally have the first of what I hope are many. And so I wanted to share a little bit about how I got this collection, what books were in it, and how much I paid so that you can tell me whether or not you think I got a good deal. So recently I saw an ad on Facebook of someone selling their collection and they had a picture of it. And really, there was only one book from the whole collection that I was interested in buying. But for what they were asking, I felt like it was worth buying the whole collection just to get that one book and so I reached out and said hey I'm interested in buying the collection from you and they said well sorry I've already agreed to sell it to someone else and so I was bummed out you know not too bad because like I said it's a small collection uh, so it wasn't like I missed out on a ton but still disappointed well thankfully a couple of days later they got back in touch with me and told me that the deal fell through with the other person that they never showed up and asked me if I wanted the books. And I said, well, yep, I certainly do. And so we set up a time for me to come the next day. And what was awesome is that they lived uh, on the way home for me from work. And so I only had to go about two minutes out of my way to pick up these books. And so that was fantastic. It's not like I had to drive far off to get them, uh, but just spend an extra two minutes. And I uh, picked up the books and brought them home. And uh, you know, none of them were bagged and boarded, and so uh, I threw the one in a bag and board because it's you know surprisingly in pretty good condition, uh, and uh, the rest I still haven't gotten to yet. Uh, so you'll just see them how they were, uh, but let's look at them. So what was that one book that I bought this whole collection for? Well, it was this one, Black Panther number two which contains the first appearance of Shuri, who of course is gonna be in the upcoming Wakanda Forever movie, and it's probably the leading candidate to be the next Black Panther in the MCU. And so this book is already a valuable one, and I expect it to get even hotter uh, after the trailer is released, and then if Shuri actually does become the Black Panther, whoo, yeah, to the moon. And so it's a book that I've been looking for, but just had not been able to find a good deal on it. And I am super excited now to have this book. And uh, and it's not, you know, it's not a 9.8, but it's it's in very nice condition. I think with a press, maybe a 9.4, 9.6, I probably won't get it slammed. Uh, and I'll have to decide, am I gonna sell this? I think I put it in my personal collection, but uh, yeah, if it gets too hot, uh, I, I can let this go. But in addition to that book, uh, there were some other ones that they're cool. You know, these aren't ones that I would have uh, probably bought otherwise. Uh, maybe I would have gotten this one because I do collect Batman, uh, and so I don't have it. It's Detective Comics number 844, uh, and I don't really know anything about the story in here, but it does have this really awesome Batman Zatanna cover, uh, so I really like this one. And then something that was really cool, when I saw the picture, I thought they were all just standard comic books. Uh, but actually a few of them were trade paperbacks and so they collect full stories and so I'm really excited uh, to read these stories even though they weren't ones that I would have naturally bought. First of all, you have Captain Britain uh, and M13 Vampire State. Uh, I love gothic horror and so anything to do with vampires I enjoy and so definitely looking forward to reading this trade. The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, 1910. Uh, I really like the first League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, and uh, you know, I'm looking forward to reading this one. Always enjoy you know, comic stories based on characters from other fictional works, uh, which I guess this collector does as well, uh, because they had this, and then they also had a Grindel uh, trade cycle. And uh, I have actually never read anything about this Matt Wagner Grindel. Uh, I, I've actually read Beowulf, uh, but I don't know really anything about this character, so I'm looking forward to reading this one. And then Grendel Classics uh, number one, and Grendel Classics number two. So 
Uh, I've got a lot of Grendel to, to read and learn about. And again, speaking of characters who are based in, in the comics or based on other fictional works, uh, I got Fables 76 and Fables 77. And I have actually read this full run. I love it. It's fantastic. I'd encourage you to read it if you haven't. And then just three other books. Uh, I guess the person was a Shadow fan because we've got the Shadow Strikes number 12, uh, the Shadow Strikes number 15, and the Shadow Strikes number 18. So those were all the books. Like I said, a very small collection. And so what do you think I paid for this collection? I'll give you five seconds to think, uh, and you can comment below what do you think it was. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. I paid forty dollars for this whole collection. Tell me, do you think that was a good deal? Would you have bought all this for forty dollars? Uh, so uh, that's my first collection. I hope you enjoyed getting to see it. Uh, I was again, obviously, very excited to pick it up, and uh, hopefully, this is the first of many videos that I'll put together like this one. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, of course, I'd appreciate if you would consider doing so and helping it to grow. Like, comment, all those things that help with the algorithm. All right, well, hope you enjoyed it. I did, and look forward to the next one.